Mmm. This is actually a northern dish, I think. It's from Dongbei. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to a cafeteria style episode of the Hot Pop Boys, aka Fung Bros Food. We have been wanting to come and show you guys Kang Kang Food Court yeah. for Kang Kang. a minute. Kang Kang. Kang Kang, Kang Kang. This is not restaurant style food. Nah. This is cafeteria this style. This is not food. a fancy yep, restaurant. Yep. No, but this is like the authentic Chinese cafeteria. It's like a hot bar you order, they scoop it for you, but this is very high quality and it's very tasty and they serve a whole bunch of dishes beyond what you see. Oh man, they might they might have a whole country. Dogger, by have. the way, they are actually known for serving the best out of any restaurant in the area. The best Shenzhen Bao. It was always good and always has been good. But shout out to David Chang, he went here and kind of blew it up. Man, we gotta go, man. We Yo. talking about Kang Kang, Kong Kong, Shenzhen Bao. Bang, 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 Kang, Kang, bang, bang, bang. What's very interesting about Kang Kang is that not only do they serve Taiwanese food, Shanghainese food, Chinese food, or northern food, they serve all tons of type of food. All the coastal regions, they got them covered. I'm excited, I'm hungry, I didn't eat yet. Hot pot boys, let's go! Kang Kang, I'm gonna go in there, bang, bang. <laughs> This brings back so many memories. We used to eat here a lot just a couple years ago. So man, look at these prices, guys. David, this four item combo used to be $6, and it's a lot of food. This menu is gigantic right now. All right, so we just got four four item combos. We got 16 things, but you know, there's probably twice as many items than that. There's about 30 items here, so we didn't get everything, but I think we got the good stuff. So we're about to order off the actual menu, and this is the stuff that they make fresh. Okay, Yo, okay. We just made it. Don't worry, we'll still tip them too. We still got a few dollars for tip, yo. Okay, all right, everybody. So this is round one. We are doing the cafeteria style food. Obviously, we got fresh food that is being made right now that we just ordered, but we gotta cover this first. And all you right. gotta remember that the food here, each one of these like tapas is about $1.75. This, if you ordered this even at a cheap restaurant, they would give you a bigger portion than this, but it would be about $7. So you get four entrees for $7? That's goodness. like unbeatable. In 2019? In 2019? All right. What's first, what's first? Shit. Orange so, chicken? Orange chicken. I mean, orange chicken. I don't even know if this was an authentic dish or they just have it here now. It's a little bready. That's pretty good, but it's a little bready. Taste-wise, it's good, but it's a little bready. Right. Shredded potatoes. Mmm. I just really one. like yeah, these. I'm not to get another one. Yo, but it's not oily though. No, it is. The texture of that potato is nice. Yep. That is the oiliest it, potato I've ever had. But <laughs> but but it's not bad. It's good. All right. String, string beans. beans. Those are pretty thin string beans. Those are pretty slim. I'm gonna I'm call them slim beans. I say it's lacking a little flavor though. Cause you know, they don't got the garlic in it. Mm hmm That's a good addition. All right, here comes the daikon beef tendon. Daikon, daikon beef tendon. Mmm, that was nice. Mm. Yo, Yo, good. The tendon is so soft, my Yo, gosh. For a dollar seventy-five? Damn, son. Damn. I love beef tendon. dollar seventy-five for the beef tendon daikon. The daikon's so good. Oh, the daikon is so good. Yo. Cause it just absorbs all the juice. Oh my gosh. Curry, curry chicken. chicken. Pretty good. Still solid. Chicken curry does not fail. You know what's wild, guys? I gotta do my first mixology. Wow. I'm gonna make curry beef brisket with the beef brisket from the beef dish, okay. but with the curry from the chicken. Shit. Let me tell you this, curry is a great cafeteria food because curry tastes really good just sitting there. Ginger, Ginger scallion, scallion chicken. chicken. Mm. Cold. Very traditional flavor. I like it. It's clean, it's clean. Always get that dish, it's light. It's got a, that saltiness from the ginger scallion sauce. Chicken is, is cooked pretty well, it's cold. From the cold section, it's good though. All right, you guys, yo, I got the tomato egg. Tomato egg. Mmm. Man, tom tomato egg is always good, man. It's like a traditional Chinese cuisine. It's like a comfort food. It's not really something you would order at a nice restaurant, but I don't man. Know how many times we eat it growing up? I like mm. this because, you know, sometimes you get the egg at like, you know, I don't want to say one of those breakfast American chains, but you don't know how much real egg is used in it because it might be like an egg mixture. I know that is heavily real egg. We got to try this fish head. I'm really interested. Oh my goodness. David. Spicy, Spicy salmon, salmon fish, fish head. Mmm. Yo. Yo, that's good. Yo. Tell me why. Tell me why. 
For a buck seventy-five? You for get like a dollar seventy-five, bro. Hold on, son. In the fish head, the fish cheek and the fish neck is really, fatty. really fatty and it's really tasty. That's considered the best part. Wow. Yo, so I mean, I gotta give this salmon fish head a five out of five. Wow. For a dollar seventy-five? For sure. Yo, oh man, that's probably the best thing right now so far. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Great, great Damn. pepper flavor. Obviously, if the chicken wing Woo. was fresh, it would even be better. But that flavor is good. Right. Not mad about that flavor. It's popping. Why is everything here good? Like, not everything. I would say maybe like half the things we had were actually really good. No, nothing's bad. Nothing's bad. Nothing's whack. It's all solid, and some of it's actually pretty good. Really good. All right, Hong Xiao Ro, the pork belly. Red, Red braised, braised pork, pork belly. belly. Yo, it's crazy, man. I, Andrew, I'm not gonna lie, man. The amount that this food reminds me of grandma. Mom. Black, black bean, bean spare ribs. ribs. Mmm. Okay. Onion, black bean, can't go wrong. You know, Andrew, some of these dishes, if you were to go out and get them, like this Hong Sao Ro, usually that's like 15 bucks at the restaurant. And I would even say restaurant at a any other Shanghainese restaurant, if you even got that much, that would probably be like, what, maybe four or five bucks? Yeah. Bean, bean curd, curd glass, glass noodles. noodles. Oh, I'm good. It's good. Wow. Yo, what region is this from? I like the spicy. You got grounded pork, you got chilies. Is this Cantonese or? That's not Cantonese. Or inland? Is that, that, that might be more Sichuan because that's not a coastal dish. I know that's not a coastal dish. Mm. Spicy, spicy garlic, garlic eggplant. Oh, I got a great piece, man. Anytime you can pick up the eggplant and it doesn't fall apart, that means it's soft but firm enough. Mmm. This is actually a northern dish, I think. It's from Dongbei. Man, I've got to say, I'm usually not a fan of eggplant, but this is good. Yo, right. that one was pretty good, man. You get a good mix between like a gooey, but also firm. Mm -hmm. It stays together enough, but it still breaks down in your mouth. It's a little bit spicy, probably twice as sweet. I, I would say that that one tastes on par with the restaurant version. Visually, it may not look like it, but the taste <laughs> is like it though. It's legit. All right, we got the pepper Pig here. All right, onions, peppers, black pepper, pork. Boy, wow. I was, well, I'm pretty solid. What a kick. I'm not gonna lie, that one's good, man. Hey, man, don't sleep on just black pepper flavor. It tastes like cooked, cooked pork jerky. Steamed egg. egg. See what's inside this. Oh, what the? Mm. Oh, they're meat in there. Yeah. Make that Dad, at home. Dad recently started making this. Dad, dish. make that at home. Last but not least, guys, is that mapo tofu? All right, guys, but here, this looks good. Mapo tofu. Mapo tofu. Soft, light, nice kick, smooth, silken tofu. Can't squeeze it too hard with your chopsticks or you're gonna cut it in half. Solid dish, solid. We are done with the cafeteria section. Like I said, I truly believe that this is the absolute cheapest way to have any of these dishes. Yes. You guys agree? And you get a variety and it's quality. Two, top two. The eggplant, the fish head. Okay. The eggplant, fish head, not a bad pick. Okay. No? Pepper pork. No lam. Oh, I was gonna good. say that. All right, I gotta go with this mysterious glass noodle dish. Yeah. But the most surprising dish to me was these the potatoes. potatoes. These yeah. potatoes, like they don't look like anything. Yeah. Guys, you gonna look at this? You gonna be like, oh, yeah, skip this. Yeah, what is that? Let's move on oh, to the next round. Woo! Guys, guys, guys. Here's the thing about Kang Kang. Kang Kang not only has a very solid cafeteria section, they have, a dope, they have some dope cooks back there. They yeah, they have some really dope recipes back there um, that are made to order fresh. And actually they are, I don't know if I should say world famous, but at least America famous for that dish right there. The Shen Jin Bao. I said that very American. You guys ready? No, go first. Did the juice fly out? That went out, it was amazing. Wow. Right. Okay, no spillage that one. Oh, damn. Mm. Explosion. That was dope. I wish I didn't lose all the juice. Mm. What is it? About? This is a Shanghainese dish, by the way, guys. Now, the Xinjiang Bao is one of the most famous dishes. It's actually what Kang Kang is known for. I can see why. Is it fire? It's fire, man. The amount of juice and how soft the, the pork is. Mm. I really like it. The taste is amazing. Now, this dish, when it comes out, guys, they tell you to let it sit for like three minutes or else you might burn the roof of your mouth. Bam. Taiwanese chicken roll. That was pretty good. It almost tastes like the inside of an egg roll. That's definitely like my favorite chicken roll that I've had though. 
you know, I'm not a huge fan of this dish. That sauce is actually super key. But shout out to that Taiwanese chicken roll. That was actually also really good. Now, like we said earlier, like Kang Kang has all different styles of Chinese food, which is crazy because this dish is more Northern. Yeah. This is more Shanghainese. This is more Sichuan. And this is more Taiwanese. And then this is more Cantonese. So you have all the main regions of Chinese food here. This Jing Dong robing is crazy. Jing, Jing Dong, or AKA the Jing Dong meat pie. Jing, Jing dong, dong meat pie. pie. Look at this. It's like a burger. It's like a Big Mac, double Big Mac right here. Nah, mm. it looks like a. You know what it looks like? It looks like a fried lasagna. Mmm. It a does. Fried look like lasagna. No, like a calzone. A lasagna. Like a calzone. No, it's pretty interesting. Pretty On good. The top layer, you got a crispy. You know, layer, and then in the middle, you get like a soft layer. It is, yeah. It's tough to compare it to something in the West, but like a fried lasagna or a calzone being the closest thing. There's layers of meat, layers of pie, layers of meat, layers of pie. We are nearing the end of our meal here at Kang Kang, ah. but Kang Kang for the bang bang. I want to explain to Kang you guys, Kang. they have so many different dishes here. I want to explain the Shanghai Ji Tai wontons. Mm -hmm. They basically are using this. Chi Thai, which is some sort of like green chive as the vegetable on the inside. It has a very, very distinct taste to it. Yeah, I know that's gonna be good. Sitting in the soup all day. Look how many greens are there. Look at those greens! I'm just gonna bot, Dave. Hope, keep holding that bowl real quick. All right. Ah! Damn. No sauce needed? No sauce. Here we go. No sauce. Mmm. Mm. I love soup wontons, man. It's like one of my favorite dishes. All right, guys, I got this Don Don Mizzy. The Dan Dan. The Dan Dan. But you know, the really interesting thing here is they use a wide egg noodle for yeah. Don Don Mian. That is uh, pretty rare. Yes. Right. And, and this is what makes you think it's a little bit more of a Cantonese style because Cantonese people eat this wide egg noodle. Traditionally, they use the, the thin round noodles. Yep, they use the pulled noodles. Also, and uh, they actually eat a lot of egg noodles in Fujian too. Mm. Here's Don Don Mian. Let's see if this guy has the, you know, the mala flavor. Mm. Yo, how is it, man? I'm I'm good. Try this. This good. Is good. I like it. Oh, Try a little bit. I gotta say, it's better than you think. Yeah. Better than it looks. It doesn't look like there's a lot of sauce on this. No, what I really like is the, the egg noodle. Yeah. It's real soft. Noodle Basically, noodle. China is so diverse that it's, sometimes it's even hard to talk to other Chinese Whoa. people about food because <laughs> when, when it's in a different province, it could be like, this is like referencing different things. Basically, uh, guys, you know, being, being Chinese is complex. Yeah. XLB, Xiaolong Bao's, here we go. Wow, oh, that, that was, was juicy. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm glad to see that even though we were letting them sit for a little while, they're still thirsting. Yeah. Oh no, guys, I need to get it with vinegar, man. I can't eat Shaolin Bao's without some strong vinegar. Oh yeah, douse that, baby. That was like $2 of vinegar right there. So let's move on to the kind of, I guess, soy sauce rice dishes. Yo, you guys, Shanghai Zongzi. All right, that tastes just like they do in Shanghai. Yeah. You can buy that exact thing in 7-Elevens all around Shanghai. David, what is a Zongzi? A zongzi <laughs> is a rice wrap inside of a lotus leaf. Confucius. Kongzi. Rice, rice wrap. wrap. Zongzi. Understand. Dongla. Crazy ass. Fongla. Yeah, I'm gonna go on the blaze this team with the strike wax show mouth. Kong Tao, that's the AC. Bao Bay, that's my baby. How's the Kanto food here? Save the best for last, y'all know what I'm fun, saying. Beef chow fun, baby. Beef chow fun. Mm. Yo, really sweet. It's good, good, good though. Yeah, it's good. I never had sweet beef chow fun before. Uh -huh. That's the sweetest beef chow fun I ever had in my life. I don't know what they put on it, man. Yo, how do you but feel about good? it now? I swear they doused it with some honey. It's different. I mean, you know I'm a huge sweet tooth, so I gotta like it. Yo, you guys, shout out to the grandparents. Mm -hmm. What? Mama, yeah, 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 yeah. Up there, it reminded me so much of the traditions. You know, you know, they would love to eat this. You know, they designed this spot to appeal to an 80 year old person. Would you agree? I can see that. Yep. Okay. Yo, this is. In my opinion, this is about as close as China as you're gonna get in the 60s. Yeah. It's one of them, one the top of them, five. One of them, one of them. Okay. Yo, Nelson, major takeaways? I just enjoy how much variety Kang Kang has. It's a great experience, you know, come here and eat like comfort food and feel like you're getting the best of everything at an affordable price. Eat here like you're eating with a multi-generational customer You know base. what it is? This is it's good for like the community. This is like a community it's spot. It's just a community spot. It's a community man. spot. You see like you know, all your local folks here. You know? But I think sometimes when people say, oh, it's a community spot, it means that they're giving it a bump for being part of the community, but the food's not that good. But actually the food carries itself. The yeah. food is legit here. Between the signage and sort of like the fonts, man, this place is Chinese for Chinese, real. Chinese. Everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. 
I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Kang Kang is actually one of the iconic spots in the 626 and it's delicious and it's representing all different parts of China. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Hop Hop Boys Express. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. It's Nelson, this is David, Andrew from the Fung Bros, Hop Hop Boys. Let us know if you like cafeteria food and what other cafeterias we should check out. All right, guys, Hop Hop Boys. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. HPB.